Welcome back. Temperatures today topping out in the mid and upper 20s below average for this time of year, but it didn't feel as bad as it was yesterday just because the winds weren't nearly as harsh. Uh, cloudy skies through the overnight period, some occasional light snow showers likely, especially through the first half of tonight. Partly sunny skies for our Friday. It'll remain cold and a couple flurries here and there. Sun and clouds heading into the weekend for Saturday and then a few snow showers back in the forecast on Sunday. Stepping out this evening, our hourly planner looking like this. Some flurries and snow showers through about 11 o'clock. And then after that, we'll get some partial clearing. Notice temperatures pretty much hanging out in the low and mid 20s over the next several hours. Winds not too terribly gusty. And uh, once we get more clearing late overnight tonight, temperatures will bottom out in the mid teens. One area of low pressure just off to our south tonight. So the steadiest snow tonight will be south of our viewing area. And actually, this storm system will intensify a bit once it hits the mid Atlantic coast. But by then, it'll be well to the south and east of our area. Notice again, partial clearing after midnight and for tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds. Still with the cold temperatures moving east of the lakes, there'll still be some lake effect snow showers and flurries. And again, occasional flurries passing through our neck of the woods. And then a more significant storm system heading up the mid Atlantic coast late Friday into Saturday. It's going to be a big deal for portions of the southeastern United States. And you can kind of see it on the maps here affecting the Delmarva and then down through eastern areas of Virginia and North Carolina. Not going to be a factor in our forecast, though, for Saturday, partly sunny skies and temperatures uh, in the low 20s. So it will be cold, but it'll be dry heading into the weekend. There are the snow showers moving in from the west tonight. And again, the steadier snow is off to our south, but locally certainly can't rule out some light snow showers out there. Just enough to make some of the roads slick. Accumulation should be up to an inch over the next couple of hours. Still some lake effect snow warnings to our north and back to the west with those colder temperatures pushing off the lakes. And that's where the accumulations will be most significant. The purple indicating six or more inches of accumulation over the western southern tier. And then a small stripe north of Syracuse as well with a bullseye of perhaps a foot and a half to two feet additional accumulations. Locally though, again, up to an inch and that should be about it with that storm system sliding by to our south. Temperatures currently in the low and mid 20s, not expected to move a whole lot over the next couple of hours. 25 at Elmira, 28 currently in Williamsport. So for tonight, the light snow flurries and snow showers coming to an end around midnight or shortly thereafter. Partial clearing uh, as we head closer to daybreak tomorrow morning. Temperature starting out in the teens, not rising much tomorrow. Despite a little bit of sunshine, highs only in the lower 20s. A couple flurries or a light passing snow shower can't be ruled out. And then similar conditions on Saturday. Partly sunny skies, highs only around 20. Looks like we're heading down to the single digits for low temperatures this weekend. For today, forecast 27. We did one better, hitting 28. Our forecast for tonight down to 15. Some light snow showers and flurries. Westerly winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. A couple more flurries around tomorrow with partial sunshine. 22, our 5 degree guarantee. First warning, 70 forecast showing a couple snow showers in the forecast Sunday, only 18 for a high, but we warm it up by the middle of next week. Wednesday, rain in the forecast with highs in the 40s.